Edited and censored CJ Stroud and people are furious. So CJ always starts each interview the same way, thanking Jesus. But NBC decided to edit that part out and push it on all their social media accounts. This is what he actually said. First of all, I just want to give all glory and praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's been amazing. And this is the way they edited the clip. What does this moment mean? I mean, it's been amazing being in this city for as short as I've been. But the this is a disgraceful act by NBC, and they need... <laughs> wow. Interesting. Mm. What you think? Um, I don't know. I mean, it could just be editing. Like, we don't want to hear religious stuff. But because we're Christian, we're offended. Like, if it was a Muslim person, and and I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what <laughs> How do you respond to My that? My brain got stuck. I How couldn't do you get respond the to that? Out. Like, if if it was if it was a uh, um you know a muslim um and they said you know i want to give uh Allah you know, akbar yeah 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 like if they wanted to say something like like how do you respond to that i think one i think if we're they too, cut that out would you be mad i think we're too americanized for that to even happen right i think that's just too much of um western christianity that would in this state in this country that would allow that to happen so i don't think that would ever happen but if it did, I, I just no, I feel it's like possible it somebody could say, "I'll yeah. praise this to Allah," and yeah. then start talking. Yeah, yeah. Some I've heard that said that before. Oh, yeah. Mike Tyson did that before. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All praise to Allah. But I feel so, like if they cut out the "All praise to Allah," Christians would be like, "So what?" Because we don't care about that. Of course, not. <laughs> of course we don't. So the the point is, why did they do it? Oh, I don't know. Why did they feel the need to do it? Is it for time? <laughs> no, 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 not no. time. No, I, I, just think it's, do it. I think it's kind of like the situation that you see with the Super Bowl when, who was it that performed? J-Lo performed and everybody gets, like went crazy and was like, you know, sending in all these messages about how could you let her do that? I had my son watching. You don't remember that? You remember that when one? she do? I mean, she they, were, they were wearing it, yeah. you know, oh, okay. stuff like that. Okay. It was Super Bowl halftime show. It's hard to say, man, because they had the Jesus.org commercials going when oh, they yeah. had the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like... He cares oh, for us. Yeah, yeah. so I, I think that it's just one of those things where they worry about backlash. Mm -hmm. They're not worried about our backlash? I don't think so. They not. Ain't nobody worried about so. Christian backlash because it's I just don't soft. think, yeah. Well, let's it, get mad then. Let's start <laughs> shaking stuff. Hey, right? you know it's bad when... <laughs> If, Christian's if, supposed you, to it's forgive. bad when Fifty Cent posts this <laughs> and go, oh, "That's messed the up." <laughs> like, why, <laughs> yeah, that's he was problem. like, "He was like, that's messed up." Why they edit him? Why he, they edit him saying that? Fifty Cent said that. Yeah. 50 yeah. 50 cent said that. <laughs> was, you know what? That's what's been really interesting. It wasn't. It wasn't just Christian outlets reacting to yeah. this. It was yeah. a lot of non-Christian yeah. outlets reacting like they were upset. It's yeah. like, really? interesting. What's going on here? Yeah. yeah. Why did they feel the need to cut it out? And why do people that you you wouldn't consider yeah. like it was on the breakfast club yeah. you said 50 said something yeah. about it it's like why do these people care about this i think because mm. it's free speech so you like yo if they can that cut too. that out they yeah. might cut out something i want to say and it's i don't like more that. helpful than harmful though that you know people see that and notice it and say hey why did they do that you know yep. it's mm -hmm. probably gonna bring just more attention to mm -hmm. you know saying the when gospel. when yeah. tim tebow put john 316 on his uh eyelids uh, under his under his eyes yeah. for the national championship game yeah mm -hmm. that was googled i think they went to like 900 uh, thousand times in one day oh like, man that's just, sad wow. it was like what? What? but it's good because i because mean we're not he, doing our job he brought, he brought, brought awareness of john oh they don't even know what you're <laughs> but it was like <laughs> oh, 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 oh they googled to see what it said <laughs> yeah. I, I was trying to figure out what, yeah, like, what, what do you mean, mean googled? they googled it <laughs> That's so yeah. that's kind of fire though. <laughs> so, but what if they like 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 uh, masked it out while he was talking? <laughs> like, <to me. laughs> but no, but like seriously, like so this you know what this is? This feeds back into the conspiracy that the media is anti-Christian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and they right. hate anything to do with Christ. They hate religion, period. But of course, yeah. especially ours because it's America. And they just they just detest us so much that they would cut out what CJ Stroud said. Why why? Why do they why is that happening? Well, I, I think I think another thing too is I've seen athletes say give giving glory to God, right? Mm -hmm. I think when you say Jesus, you know what God you're, you're talking about. Exactly. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Well, you're identifying the God. Yeah. I've seen those commercials on TV, it's like a commercial like a Catholic church commercial and they send everybody come back home and says Muslims, Christians, whoever, like all different religious mm -hmm. races all come back home. I think kind of what you're saying, like, Took they kind of look like, <laughs> yeah, they come back home. And it's like, it's pretty I've much saying, like, all of us have the same God. 
But when right. you mention Jesus, it's a divide, it's a separation. That's when certain lifestyles and certain agendas that you have out here are not going to be tolerated. But if we all serve the same God, it pretty much said we can work through some of this stuff. Yeah. But yeah. with Jesus, there's no room for compromise. It's like, yeah. Nope. I, I feel like. I feel like one, you also risk getting backlash from somebody at that station. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like NBC, what is it? NBC, what is it? NBC, NBC. NBC. Mm -hmm. There's a big network. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, I saw recently um, on a job. I've actually been on a job before where somebody heard something that they didn't like and they quit on the spot. And they were mm -hmm. like, "Yo, you are violating my, my the, the fact that you're not standing with me and I'm offended. I'm, I'm leaving today." You know, oh, so I feel like, like alphabet. Yeah, so I feel like it was. So I feel like the um, <laughs> the situation could be like, why is why are people at NBC not speaking up and saying something about it? Well, you know? I, well, here's the thing: if you're not offended by it, I and here's the thing about NBC: if they what they did was so slick, is if you didn't know about the other you video, known, you would have been like. And then here's the other question: you if you know him, he gives God he the glory every time. all the time, yeah. Yeah. win right. or lose. Mm -hmm. So. Like and you gotta think somebody actually told that person to edit that out. Like, yeah. yo, take that out. Yeah. yeah. Remember when um I think it was uh Donald Trump got banned from Twitter? It was like one person that made the decision to do that when they were leaving, right? <laughs> so it's almost like, do we know if this was just a social media person that, that could have been like mm. it could have been a director yeah, behind the scenes who was an atheist or just like, a the intern that yeah. cuts up the videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. too. Mm. You just don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well don't he don't may know. not have a job. Well he's gonna be the scapegoat now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, even if it wasn't sure. somebody getting fired. Yeah. Um but yeah, so I, I just think it's important for us to notice that you know, us having an enemy is not fake. Like there are people who are sure. against us, actively yeah. against us. Yeah. Um, in the media, in entertainment, it, you know, in, in industry, and in everywhere. Yeah. Um, but how do you respond if you're C.J. Stroud? What should he do? Keep keep talking. Keep yeah, saying keep it. Keep talking. Talking. He wears the Jesus shirt to the conferences too. I mean, to like the uh, press conferences. Yeah. So if the team is not saying anything about it, you know, who Let me was it that got? Who was it that was told not to put that shirt on? Was it was it Lamar? Somebody was uh, doing a press conference and their team told them not to wear a certain. Here's shirt a question: anymore. Do you think CJ's going to be in like Steph? You know how Steph got in the league, and he was like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then like a league, like a couple seasons later, it seemed like he died it's that it's down. Not just Steph; that's a bunch of people. The White House. No, I'm talking White about. Howard, I'm just talking yeah. about like started off like I remember Dwight early Howard. in his career. Mm -hmm. He he's, uh, did a. Uh, not a sermon, but he spoke at our church before he got drafted. Like right after, he before won, he got caught up. He with said the he other stuff the, too. When he first came in, he said he wanted the NBA logo to be a cross, like the cross of Jesus. That when he first came wow. in. The league, that was oh wow! You no, know, that ain't gonna happen. So yeah, you, I mean, you just really got to pray for him because I, I believe C.J. Stroud really wants to, right? So yeah. it's the it's the powers that be that kind of. But come that's in what I'm saying. Your CEO it. come to you, not your CEO. Your owner come to you, say, hey, bro. You know, you 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 you're our quarterback. We love you. We we don't mind you talking about religious stuff, but can you not do that every? But that's not the nah. danger. The danger is that temptation kind of like squeezes Jesus out of you, like oh, over I see time. What you mean. Yeah. you yeah. start you start sinning, and then you start feeling like, well, I can't really talk about this no more. Yeah, I yeah, but really also it. too, it's kind of like he's at work though. So I mean, at work, you just can't be going around preaching. You can't, that's, but you can say but Jesus. You, but when you, you can have say a that's why Mark like Jackson that? got blackballed though. Mark Jackson, you know, he's a pastor. Yeah. And he got fired from Golden Mark State. Jackson, yeah. He's never got another NBA yeah. coaching job yeah. offer again. Yeah. So if somebody you know says, yo, saying? stop doing that, I mean, I probably would just stop doing it. It doesn't change who I am. It doesn't change how I can reach people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying, um, you know what I'm saying on lunch or you know what I'm saying like even outside of work. I guess because his position is public on purpose, right? So right, I would right, imagine right. he got that position. God allowed him to have that position oh, so sure. he could be publicly. Sure. For you sure. Know. Yeah. sure. So I would still try to find a way to do it. I would yeah, still yeah. find a way to do it too. Yeah. I hear yeah. you, but you said just make I sure mean, you're really hearing from God, like we talked about. I, I don't <laughs> think you need to hear from God to know you're supposed to be spreading the gospel. Yeah, so yeah. I, think, well, I think I don't think that's not spreading the gospel if you don't say that. I mean, you can still reach people. It's just I, they would have to convince me that I'm doing something wrong by saying all praises to oh, Jesus. Okay. Like, why, what, what's walking. wrong with that? No, I can right. say that at my job, can't you? You can't yes. say, you know, in an interview know. where somebody comes to your job and they're interviewing you for your job. Like, I, I'll tell you this. Hey. I was doing an interview <laughs> one day. I was doing an interview one day and the person just kept talking about God. And I saw it as a red flag because the way it was happening, Dang. it was almost like you're the ops. I was the reason why the reason why is so because Ryan, when that person Ryan is unrighteous I, at work because they were wearing it on their sleeve 
And when they got into the building, totally different situation. One mean? of the nastiest people I ever worked with. I think he reached more people by them blocking it out. I think more folks got reached because they wondered why did they block it out? So sure. now they're researching yeah. the truth. Right, right, right. So sure. I believe, like what Sean's saying, like him yeah. still finding a way to do it, it's, it's going to impact people yeah. regardless. Right. Like, yeah. regardless or maybe he knew you was a like Christian, that? so he thought that would, you know what I'm saying, get him in. This? No, no, no. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just like saying, like, the person, when I, when I was listening in, I was like, Something's wrong with this. Oh, you think it was performative? Something, it was definitely performance. Oh, yeah, yes. okay. it was gotcha. definitely performance. Okay. Because when they got in the building, they were totally not talking about God. Let's do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you saw it through it, your discernment. I saw it. I saw okay. it. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sermon. Um, but I think uh, Prophet brings up a good point. If if it's like your company, like take it out of NFL and all that at your job, and they said, "Hey, you represent us. We don't want you saying that." When you rep- when you have our t- when you yeah. have our shirt right. on, exactly. That's what, what I'm do saying. you do with that? You got you have two options. You can either leave or you can fall in line. Like that's, that's the only two options. Should, should you, you know leave? what the funny thing is about it though? Like if CJ Stroud wanted to have a press conference by his car, the paparazzi and the media they'll do that. Like they'll follow you if you're a celebrity. They'll follow you everywhere you want to go. Yeah, get off the premises and do whatever you want to do. I, I got a saying? personal experience with that. I worked, when I worked at uh, one of my old jobs, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I told I'm not coming to work because I was when I first came out of the street, I was going to Seven Day Adventist Church. So we mm-hmm. hunted the Sabbath and they put me on the schedule oh, on snap. Saturday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know I know better now, but I was, I'm not. I'm not working on the Sabbath. You know, say so I do what I got to do. <laughs> right. They're like, you don't show up, we gonna fire you. I said, well, go ahead and fire me then. Mm. So I came back to work. And they had the Ten Commandments up on the wall. Oh, snap. For real? For real. Wow. They put the commandments. He said, so what do you do on Saturday? I said, I don't work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I just, mm. I risk spend time with the Lord. And they never put me on the schedule again. And I, you know what I'm saying? I was, I oh, so they fired thing. you by default just by not putting you on the schedule? No, they didn't nah, fire him. They didn't fire him. They I, changed I, the rules. I worked Monday through Friday. They, they never put me on the schedule. Oh, you know time. why? They was probably scared of getting sued. Like, yo, mm-hmm. you say, I got, I got yeah. fired from my religious whatever. Yeah. Religious it's a possibility beliefs. of that. Yeah. It's it's it just depends on where you at and who you're dealing with. Well, also it depends on, you know, like when God says he'll make, he'll make, uh, room for you in front of you know and, mm-hmm. and make you favorable in front of people like that and just might cop the attention of somebody who was yeah. like let me rethink this he was like he strong. willing to lose his job then yeah let me see what's going on yeah you. right right hey what's going on i hope you like that video make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you support us on patreon patreon.com forward slash track stars universe in the meantime continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now right